guys, happy spring, ne? You see how you can't see me? You are half seeing me. That's the flames I'm seeing this semester. Guys, as the months progress, is the pressure decreasing or increasing? Because, hi, bo, look, I can't even undo my hair. Guys, are we going to graduate? <laughs> Yay! Ah, no. It's giving. Can we study see table? Hi, bo. <laughs> Good evening and good evening, good people. Elena, fetching each and every person who did not get a distinction for research methodology after I stopped my whole schoolwork and tried to assist you here on this channel. If you do not get a distinction, my sister, my brother, <laughs> good evening. That's all I have to say. Good people, we are invading Katlehon Rito I can't, I can't, I can't be willing to help everyone at zero cost here on this channel. And you decide to order, no, uh -uh, no, I'm going to get 50. How? Why? Why, yo? Anyway, guys, my name is Sagwadi Wakarabuta and welcome to my YouTube channel, Sweets. Uh, if it's the first time you're joining as an LLB student or as anybody who's joining just to watch the podcast and any other thing that I'm trying to do on this channel, welcome home. Yeah, anyway, my name is Sagwadi once more, one more time. So today we are doing HFL 1501 portfolio that is due on the 23rd of october and i am here to dish out each and everything that you will need or to give light to how you should answer this okay so i have decided that since people joined my channel thank you so much for helping me buy uh, or helping me be able to <laughs> pay for the data to upload i appreciate it so much I feel like those people who have joined my my channel, where the membership is just 20 rand, 20. That time I'll rat. But anyway, guys, all I'm saying is for everyone who has joined here, I have decided that uh, because I'm not making membership videos for now, and for this year, next year, it's going to be very lit there. I think I should make specifically for you. Every member who has joined on my bio, there is my number name. You're gonna WhatsApp me with your screenshot of that you've joined. Ne? I'm gonna send you the document for whatever assignment that I'm presenting. I'm gonna send you what I've written down, and then you will use it as a guideline to answer your assignment. So let's say I'm doing part one now, and you feel like okay, when I'm talking, I'm talking too fast, or you just wanna see it written down. Anybody who has joined this channel can WhatsApp me with um, a screenshot that they've joined. Now, just verify, and then I will send you the document for part one or part two, as long as you've joined the channel. Hmm? It doesn't even need to be 79 rand. Only 20 rand. You get the, the document. And I want to emphasize that should you copy and paste that document, everybody who's joined is going to get the same document. I don't want you to copy and paste. I don't want you to change there to theirs. No. I want you to use it as a guideline to help you answer appropriately. Yes, you can take some things from there, but you need to showcase to the lecturer that you understand what you've written. Okay? All right. Let's get right into HFL portfolio for 2024. And the first question says, I, I believe that... Um, the instructions have been read, but let me read it for you. This assessment assessment is due on at 1 o'clock on Wednesday, 23 October, next of next week. You have 14 days to complete the assessment. Remember the, 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 the timeline. It should tell you that they are expecting you to write. And they are also not expecting you to write a bunch of things that you are not supposed to write. They are not expecting you to just write 200,000 words of nothing. You need to convince the lecturer that you know what you're doing, guys. I'm going to fall. Let me sit nicely. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, Barry, 
if you do not submit this assessment before the due date you will automatically fail the the the, the module so it contributes 25 percent but if you don't submit it you fail my brother <laughs> right so I, I believe everybody can read the instructions and no late uh, no late submissions and most importantly no plagiarism Question one, answer the following question based on your understanding of the HFL study material. Question one, name one South African constitution of which you have learned in this module that embraced an approach of complete denial of the principles of constitu constitutionalism. Ah, yeah, the English can leave you sure. Uh, did you hear that? It says... It says, name one South African constitution of which you have learned in this module that embraced an approach of complete denial of the principle of constitutional, constitutional, yeah, constitutional, <laughs> constitution, constitutionalism, I will, <laughs> anyway, let's answer question one. So it means they're many, eh? but let's read what I've come up with. The 1961 Constitution of South Africa is an example of a constitution that, em that embraced an approach of complete denial of the principle of constitu constitutionalism. The constitution allowed for parliamentary supremacy, supremacy where the legislation had virtual, virtually power that is not assessed. And therefore, was no there, and there was no higher legal authority to restrain or review the actions of Parliament. The 1961 Constitution of South Africa. Hmm. Let's go to question two. Question one point two: Provide evidence from the Constitution of South Af of the Republic of South Africa 1996 that supports. The statement in the current South African governmental structure. Okay. Provide evidence from the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa 1996 that supports the statement that the current South African governmental structure is not based on parliamentary on, on para, parliamentary supremacy. Right. You have to prove. Mm, you're already proving. Don't you feel like a lawyer? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. The current South African governmental structure is based on constitutional supremacy rather than parliamentary supremacy. You know, when we speak of parliamentary uh, supremacy, I remember an interview. Hey, <laughs> the J a JSC JSC interview where they ask um uh, the judge about the 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 aspiring judge. Uh, what is parliamentary supremacy? Supremacy, yo, guys. But anyway, let's answer. Here are the key provisions from the Constitution of the South African, of the of the. Here are the key provisions from the Constitution Constitution of the Republic of South Africa that dis demonstrate this. That dis demonstrate that the South African governmental structure is based on constitutional supremacy rather than parliamentary supremacy section 165 subsection 2 reads this section underscores the independence of of the judiciary stating that courts are independent and sub all right i'm sorry about that um you know i have a bunch of kids okay section 165 subsection 2 the section underscores the independent independence of the judiciary <laughs> the constitution ex the, this section underscores the independence of the judiciary stating that courts are independent and subject only to the constitution and the law meaning even parliamentary decisions are subject to constitutional review so it means that none of the governmental um, institutions are above the constitution right uh, we have section two the constitution explicitly expl explicitly 
<clears throat> guys why is the english leaving me today <laughs> okay the constitution clearly states that it is the supreme law of the republic any law or conduct inconsistent with the constitution is invalid and the ob obligations in in imposed by the constitution must be fulfilled okay so i've mentioned only two out of the four i've written so you can get the entire document there if you want because i know that if you mention two they'll give you four marks so the other it will be for those who have subscribed and i'll give them well who have membership right these sections affirm that south africa south africa operates under a system of constitution, constitutional supremacy where the constitution constitution governs all branches of the government including parliament ensuring that there's no single in institution that holds up absolute power so the question just wants you to prove that the constitution is the supreme law of the land so everything is controlled by them nobody's gonna say i'm i'm here i'm from the parliament this is what we decided me and the president we decided like this every institution and every branch of the government is ruled or is controlled by the constitution regulated by them all right let's move on to question two right question two reads provide one valid example of the following classifications of things a a consumable thing two a single thing three rest extra commission it's giving italian okay let's provide those examples a a, com a consumer consumable thing what is a consumable thing when i either consumable thing pap hey pap is an example of a consum co consumable thing because it's it's just used up or, or consumed after it is you after it's used Guys, the English is running away today. But anyway, let me try. I'm just a bit tired, I guess. Pop. Consumable thing. Consumable. Ha, ha, ha. The one that you do with the nephsas, my ha, ha. And you don't have anything to show us. Ha, ha, ha. Consumable thing. Pop. Bread. Banana. Not a fan. A single thing. A pen is an example of a single thing as it is independent whole object that cannot be divided without losing its essential nature a pen it's a single thing so you need it with all its components letumbulela that road that you need it to be able to work once you dismantle something you are unable to use it because it needs to be a composite thing a car for example single thing okay rest extra commercium a public road is an example of risk extra commercial because it's a thing that is outside of comments and cannot be owned or traded by private individuals. Tarud, who owns it? Right? I hope you get it. Get the examples, then you can make your own. Um Question 2.2. Which form of de delivery is applicable in the following scenarios? Andre leases an, an office complex from Michelle for a period of five years. Two years after the lease agreement is concluded, Michelle puts the office complex on the market and Andre buys it. Which form of delivery is applicable for this? For A. Ne? The applicable the applic applicable form of delivery is constituted const constitutum hey guys i don't know how to read to read italian but i try to write it down here this occurs when a person who is already who already possesses something as a lisi continues to possess it, but their legal basis of pay of possession changes from lisi to owner so let's read question two point b okay oral buys a 2022 vw oh the way they hate us vw boys <laughs> from a second hand vehicle dealership upon receipt of the purchase price upon receipt of the purchase price juju an employee of 
the dealership hands the keys of the vehicle to o arabile i said uradile o arabile what form of delivery is this let's find out the applicable the applicable delivery is delivery by long hand we've got the italian name there traditional longa lam eh? this is where this is when the keys to the car which give control over the vehicle are handed over to the buyer. So, delivery by long hand. Question 2.2 C. Lerato sells her car to Charles, but the parties agree that Lerato will temporarily keep the car and lease it from Charles for a period of two months before she delivers it to him. What form of delivery is this? Okay. So, they buy the car, but... Um, the other person will keep it for a period of two months before they are given the car. So what form of delivery is this? Um, okay, let's see what I wrote. The applicable form of delivery is cost same one as A. Constitutum poserium. Hey guys, how do we read Italian words? I feel the Italian though. Lerato retains physical position of the car but changes a legal position from owner to lessee. So that is the answer. Okay. Right. Let us move on to part two. Part two. We'll be coming up with question three, question four, question five. I will be here to assist you with that. And I said, as I said, those who are members of the channel are going to receive this document to be able to use it in that period in this period to help them answer where i have written answers and i have explained in those answers in full okay so i'll see you guys on part two everybody who is subscribed will be able to access question three four and six they will be able to get it or uh, as a document i will send it to them when they send me a whatsapp message i really hope i've shed light onto question one and question two i will see you on part two before the end of the weekend i love you so much Mwah.